I'm back, GenX Gamer here with another quick hit tutorial for ATC Pro. First of all, thank you to all of our new subscribers and hello. Several of you have come on board even within the last few days, so I want to give you guys a warm welcome. And then also, my old faithful subscribers that have been here, a lot of you since the beginning. I appreciate each and every one of you. So today, in tutorial number two, we are going to do an overview of tab number two which is operational information here so let's go ahead and click operational information we're not going to spend a ton of time on this um, and for whatever reason I don't know I completely uh, completely didn't even really pay much attention to this page when I first started out so for whatever reason it blew by me and maybe it's blown by some of you I don't know so I thought I would just bring it to everybody's attention we'll just go through it real quick operational information here this whole page is full of excellent information but first we have to select our facility otherwise we get no information whatsoever so the first thing we're going to do is click here and let's select Albuquerque because that's what we've been focusing on we'll click on Albuquerque and something to note is you can generate a PDF of all of this information and have it sitting next to you if you wanted to print it all off or if you wanted to put it on a second monitor you just click generate PDF and you'll have all this information alright let's look at number one here general facility information aircraft type and design go ahead and click on that it says jet aircraft and I my understanding is these are the aircraft that are accepted at this facility so we have jet aircraft which is all aircraft whether scheduled airline flights military or corporate aviation we have high performance aircraft which is all aircraft that have two or more turboprops also including the PC-12 and the TBM-7 aircraft and crews at greater than 210 knots low performance aircraft are all your piston driven aircraft and single engine turbo uh, prop aircraft except PC-12 and TBM-7 of course those are considered high performance aircraft see above right all right so our next area of business here is to click on radar sites and operation and we'll just look at Albuquerque we see the radar ID is A, Albuquerque is ABQ and then it also gives um, latitude and longitude I'm not going to spend a lot of time there altitude filter limits altitude filter limits are used to hide aircraft that are outside of the controllers area of responsibility the low altitude is the bottom altitude that an aircraft will be displayed and the high altitude is the top altitude that an aircraft will be displayed. And here we see unassociated aircraft will display starting at an altitude of zero and continue to show until 12,600. And then associated aircraft will display starting at an altitude of zero and continue to show until flight level 212. Next up is scratch pad entries. We'll take a brief look at that. Runway scratch pad entries will be automatically added for the controller when the controller has been, or excuse me, when the approach has been assigned to an arriving aircraft. So if we were doing an ILS for American 5253, expect vectors for the ILS, runway 3 approved, it will then pop up on the scratch pad as an I for ILS. So I hope that makes sense. We can look further down here and we can see Albuquerque International Sunport, all of the runways, and you could see what type of approaches are allowed. So on runway 12, it's visual. Runway 30, it's visual. Runway 26, it's P, G, and V, which is RNAV, GPS, and visual. And if we go all the way up to like number three, which is one that I use a lot in, in the southern controlling portion of the airport, it allows for virtually almost uh, almost all of them here. So that's something to pay attention to and just to make note of. And then there's other airports within our airspace like Double Eagle, which is on the north side of the airport. So if you were controlling the north side, you would also be dealing with Double Eagle um, Airport. And we, we will focus on these 
throughout our tutorials at a later date. Initially, we're just going to start with the main airport to break everything down to just keep it simple for you guys. But Double Eagle would be an airport to take note of. Alexander Municipal would be another one that's on the south side of the airport. And then also Mid Valley Air Park, which is E98, which is on the south side. So you will see in my videos, number one and number two, I do deal with both of those uh, airports there. And they're just very, very small. Okay, let's go on down to standard traffic flows. We could see southwest, northeast, east, and west. If we were to select, for example, east, we could see here what the criteria is in regards to our winds being zero degrees to one 79er degrees, arrival runways 3 and 8, and departure runways 8 and 12. So this is all helpful information. Um, you can see runway 8, runway 12, if they're northbound, which controller they're handed off to, which would be the one north controller, um, what heading they would be uh, proceeding uh, to on their departure. So valuable information within there also. So feel free to take a look at all of those. You know, you can look at Northeast and you could see here's so the criteria for Northeast, 350 degrees to 70 degrees as far as your winds and above 15 knots. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at all of those. And then we have our departure procedures. You could see here, Albuquerque, we'll click on it, and here we have our departure procedures, which is pretty neat, so you guys can feel free to look at that. I know on several of my uh, departures on my episodes, we use that Monsanto 2 departure, which is right here for our airlines, before they either go to Daddy, Fat Tees, um... Some of the other ones, what up? We would use that Monsanto 2 departure. And you could see here, if we look at what up, there's the Monsanto 2 right here. Monsanto 2 departure, Monsanto 2 departure, Monsanto 2 departure. So we're able to use the, the Monsanto 2 departure on all of those that are in my airspace, the southern part of the airport. And so I would have them proceed direct to Yuglu. They continue on Cyan, join the Monsanto 2 departure, and then proceed to the next uh, fixed ident, which is Daddy. So, and again, you can watch the previous episodes and uh, see how I do that, and I will be breaking that all down in these tutorials. So, I just want you guys to know that this information is here, and it's really good to look over. So I wish I would have realized that all this information was here when I first started with a simulator. So next up, arrival procedures. We have here standard arrival procedures for the uh, facility, which will be Albuquerque. We'll click on that. And here we can see our different arrivals. You'll note in uh, my previous videos, Coulter arrival, a lot of... Uh, airliners come in on the Coulter arrival, also the Levan they come in on, um, Lazard is another one, so it's good to get familiar with those, those are your arrival procedures, and you can see here like for example the jet on the Coulter arrival is at 15,000, and that's generally uh, when they are handed off to me they are at 15,000, so and again, I'm talking airlines. And then you could see for your high-performance aircraft and your low-performance, your single engines. So there's all that good information there. And then we have our airspace delegation, which I've been controlling the southern part of the airspace. And we can click on that, and we could see the radar scope is considered south. The star's ident is 1S. Uh, frequency is 123.9er. And here are the responsibilities. Controlling departing aircraft within assigned airspace. Must not alter the course of a departure aircraft from tower heading until separation is ensured. 
Vector departing aircraft to filed SID or fixed or departure fix. Okay, and then we have Class C airspace service within assigned airspace. And then uh, shall vector high performance and jet aircraft to enter downwind at 10,000 feet uh, median or mean sea level at 210 knots. We see our radar scope is S, STARS ID is 1S, frequency is 123.9er, and here's our responsibilities. Control departing aircraft with an assigned airspace must not alter the course of a departure aircraft from tower heading until separation is ensured. I'm sure that was supposed to be is. C, vector Departing aircraft to filed SID or departure fix. You know, your departure fix would be like Daddy, for example. Class C airspace service within assigned airspace. And shell vector high performance and jet aircraft to enter downwind at 10,000 feet, mean sea level, and 210 knots. Okay, so there's all that information in here. And then, of course, if you wanted to explore the north, you have the same exact duties in the north. So... The north part of the airport. All right, let's go ahead to video maps. Now, available video maps, it says here, listed below are the available video maps during a controller shift. Okay, these are all the maps that can be charted out on your scope. Um, if you go back to my previous episodes, that green bar that is at the top of the radar scope is where you can go ahead and select uh, these options. So here are all the options for the main video maps. You can see them all here. And we'll go more in detail on some of these in our future tutorials. Airspace maps. You can see what directions. And then we have our arrival and departure maps. Again, let's see here. There's the Monzano 2 that we use frequently. There's the Coulter 3. For our arrivals, our departures are that Monzano 2. Um, there's Levan, which is another one. So there's all of those in there. And then our approach maps here also, which, again, these are all available inside of uh, our scope in that green bar. And we can pop them on and off our scope at any time. And then lastly is our pronunciation guide, which is all of the uh, spoken waypoints and fix pronunciations inside of this particular airport. Those we can also bring up in game too. And I've in one of the previous videos I've shown how to do that, but we'll get into more of that in the future. So the main goal here, folks, was just to let you guys know that this section is available and it is very valuable to read over and to just get familiar with. And like I said, when I first started, I had no clue this was really even here. In fact, I came in here and this was blank and I never selected an airport. And I'm like, oh, there's no information here, blah, 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 right? So... Um, after selecting an airport and diving into it, I'm like, oh, wow, there's a lot of valuable information in here that would have been very helpful. So I just want to point this out to you guys. Hopefully this video helped. And that's going to do it for this second tutorial of ATC Pro. I am the Gen X Gamer. I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you happen to like this type of content, be sure to hit that like, that bell, that sub, leave a comment. Let me know you were here. Hey, if you're an airline pilot, if you're a guy that works ATC or a gal that works ATC, please 
comment in the comment section. I'm sure people here would love to hear from you guys on any hints, tips, things that you know that clearly I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to post in there. Um, I'm open to learning and it's not my life. This isn't my life. My life is trading crypto and stocks and investing. And that's where my time's dedicated, but I love learning other things. So feel free to put those in the comments below. This is the Gen X Gamer signing off saying, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, bye bye now.